Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful viewers. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel, 11 Sync with the Universe 11. I'm so sorry, friends, that I could not post in the last couple of days. I was going through a lot of um, turmoils in my life. Uh, I lost my DM. He passed away. So I'm so sorry. That's why I could not post. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to life purpose, uh, we have to keep moving ahead, keep charging ahead because we cannot be going through the remorse, right? So I believe um, you all are doing fine, all said and done. I really did not want to start with something uh, negative like this. But yeah, as uh, there is a saying that, uh, you know, what Almighty has for us is always uh, something better and I'm sure he is in a better place wherever he is right now and um, we soon will unite all right once I transition all right so let's see Aries what we have for you today so my I'm going to pull up some of the uh, focus messages for you to see uh, where your energy is at right now. Please take whatever resonates for you and leave the rest, okay? And those who are new to my channel, thank you so, so very much for tuning in. Uh, and uh, I really, really appreciate uh, you all for stopping by. All right, so <laughs> I'm not in a situation to show up my face. So I thought like, let me do the readings this way. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> I'm going through a lot of throat chakra activation, uh, third chakra. So Aries, you got uh, the card number 37. That's uh, heart chakra. That's third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. All right. So what I feel for you all is that your third chakra is getting activated right now in a big way. And 37, 37 is all about... Uh, some kind of a uh, completion right you are coming up uh, around some kind of completion in your life at this point in time and with the third chakra activation that is the solar plexus chakra Aries so I believe that you are getting your mojo back your power back because third chakra is all about creativity uh, it's all about your passion your drive your zeal you know it's like go 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 kind of an energy so i believe with the current um, mars uh, you know like mars was combust so probably for the last three to four months of time you might have felt like you are losing out uh, control or grip over your life and now that you are getting that mojo back all right you will feel energized you will feel more empowered okay and i'm aries moon and i have been going through a lot lot lately and today only i really felt the calling from the universe that i need to uh, do the reading and here i am and this card did not want to come uh, for you uh, that is uh, lord hanuman okay so what is lord hanuman is all about is the monkey god and he is the avatar of lord shivai himself okay he is the rudransh and he is known for his strength courage determination power and he is the only god who's uh, you know uh, the chakra alignment the kundalini alignment or you can say like um, you know to be an eternal human being what you need to be this is who he is he gives you all those powers all right so let me read out this card to you aries it says i bow down in homage of hanuman the general of the army of apsis and shri rama's messenger who travels with the speed of the mind and with the faith with the force of the wind for he is the son of the wind god he has conquered his senses and is the wisest of the wise. 
I told you, remember that, uh, you know, the five Gyanindriyas, the five Karmindriyas and the six sensory organs, all right, that we call like six sense. Okay, so he's the only God who has that kind of an alignment of 16 uh, divine uh, sensory organs that makes us a consciously evolved human being. And he is the God who is that kind of a God. Okay, you can call up to him if you are feeling really, really uh, demotivated, less energized, less powerful. He will be there to help you out. And the blessing says capacity to persevere, physical strength, fighting ability, superhuman power to accomplish acts of services, ability to increase one's attitude of love in performing selfless service. I believe Aries, you have given out a lot uh, lately to others, all right, where you have probably tend to lose out all your strength, your courage, your determination, all right, and now I feel that you are coming back in your power, all right, with the third chakra activation, uh, I'm seeing this Hanuman card is no coincidence because yeah, when you are working on the third chakra, you know, you need to have that ultimate strength and power. Solar plexus chakra is also associated with the strength card. All right. So you can say in a different way, we are seeing the strength card and you might <clears throat> have turned out to be a very, very spiritual, uh, devoted person, uh, you know. So let's see what universe has to say. I really don't want to make this reading long one for you. Just quick updates what's coming because we recently had an eclipse and then we have a solar eclipse coming up on 4th of December. So you will be experiencing a lot of energy shift okay uh, where you were feeling like less empowered now you are going to feel more powerful and universe has this card for you and it says you have got time so what this you have got time says it says ever wonder what would make uh, life's fleeting pain and sorrow totally and unquestionably worth it how about living forever wildly in love and loved wildly you have so much to look forward to the universe what a beautiful message to receive from the universe all right that you have got time you know uh, possibly through the test and turbulent time that you have gone through uh, my dear aries you might have experienced something like that you cannot really explain to anybody but you have experienced that to, in your core and you know and it's like you have given out of all of yours uh, to others for others happiness for others satisfaction for others need uh, for all for others all right and what i feel is that universe with the third chakra activation is pulling your energy back to yourself that my child now the time has finally come that you need to focus on yourself you know you have to concern about others less about others and more about yourself all right you have to find that yin and yang balance your your own energy balance your own energy find your mojo back find your passion your drive your creativity back all right for that you have all the strength you have hanuman kind of strength with you and you don't have to worry nothing is lost in time you have got time all right you still have got time so let's see what tarot has to say to add up to this messages all right Okay, universe, please bring it on what you would like to tell us for the Aries. I hope you are liking the setup. All right, this card just uh, flipped. And interestingly, you see you got uh, 10 of swords. I mean, 10 of swords. You are done, right? You have given out a lot. And this is where you are when you tune into this reading and trying to find a balance for yourself. And you are still wondering, like, I don't know, universe, where I went wrong, what new I can do, what different I can do. Because all I'm feeling inside is I'm done and dead. All right. And I need to find my strength back. I don't know how. And you have been really, really struggling a lot. We are going through a big time energy shift. We are going through a major planetary alignments and paradigm shift. So 
seeing this card in your reading i totally remember like i lost my dm all right and and i have gone through this i being an aries moon i have experienced this energy in the last I believe the last time I did my shooting was on 5th of November, all right, and after that I could not, I could not, I mean, I have been going through a lot, all right, so this is where you are at feeling absolutely dead, nobody to talk to, nobody is there to hear you out, all right, so let's see what universe has to add up to this card, what is it about? world card yes i told you you are coming to some kind of a conclusion all right okay this is where you are at at this point in time uh aries and uh, let's see what universe uh what is the outcome for you oh, and i will unfold this card later on okay at the end of uh what i when i am explained these cards this is the Trinity messages for you what is coming towards you what uh, you can expect coming your way okay so here you are absolutely confused not sure like what to do what not with the seven of cups I'm like I don't know universe uh, I am I'm really dead uh, the person I mean uh, you tune into this reading is a message like this is where you are at absolutely dead completely all right feeling absolutely in turmoil like i don't know universe i really don't know uh, this is because uh, you were uh, you know trying to close a cycle out here so that you can take a leap of faith and after this after this there is nothing all right after this there is going to be um, the sword and i believe that recently you have come up uh, with some kind of a truth a truth that has changed the entire perspective of yours all right where you felt like i'm doomed okay my wishes uh, all i wish for hope for prayed for uh, did not turn out i'm like you have closed off i you are indecisive trying to walk away and two plus eight is also ten 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 you got three tens out here you have walked away something was very foggy for you undecisive not able to make any decision finally you are seeing things clearly you have walked away it came to you like a tower all right whatever this uh, world card and uh, fool card represents for you it came to you like a tower like let me say let me tell you uh, you know like an experience like you have been always believing that the, this is what the truth is you know um, you know this person loves me I love him I felt this so soulful all right I walk towards my soul purpose I have done everything possible that I could have done all right but where I land up at the end I land up um, you know here I land up absolutely here what next I can do I believe uh, the situation that you were dealing with this person was like back and forth in your life you know, um, this, these are the people like who has, you know, who has manipulated you, all right, who has manipulated you, depleted your energy, has set, scattered your energy, has stabbed you uh, in your back like anything and that has put you to an energy of two of swords where you had no option, universe left you with no option like fork in the road and all you had was to walk away walk away from any emotions that is not serving you walk away from any situation that is not serving you these are all empty cups you have given out all right it's dried out now you are i can tell you aries those who has tuned into this reading today you are absolutely kind of dead inside all right you are not feeling any emotion all right and any emotion if you are feeling that is absolutely like kind of <clears throat> seven of cups seven and eight is 15 that's the devil energy all right so you are if only emotional energy that you have is um, like kind of confused i really don't know so what i feel is that with the tower universe is asking you to my child uh, say goodbye to these people say goodbye to this situation say goodbye to those emotions all right you are a person who are 
on the verge of completing a dark night of the soul journey and what i believe is that with the full card uh, aries this is your own reading or a uh, own a uh, card okay uh, with the card of uh, aquarius or capricorn all right uh, that is i told you remember devil energy so world card is uh, what what world card card does it is kind of capricorn energy devilish energy right 7 plus 8 is 15 i told you that and capricorn is ruled by saturn and this card has been teaching you about paying your karmic debt so whatever struggles the pain that you have gone through the karmic lessons that you have gone through you were learning certain lessons so that a new beginning can come in your life where you feel really really grounded stable confident you know courageous bold uh, you know and start your life all over again so what i feel is that uh, with the current planetary transit uh, with Mars, uh, you know, coming in its own power, you yourself showing up with the world card. I feel that you are done with the three uh, ten of swords. You have already closed a cycle and you are on the verge of taking a leap of faith. Previously, you were undecisive. Now you are absolutely on point and you are absolutely decisive about it. And if not, then soon you are going to get epiphany where you will know, okay, now I understand universe. I need to walk away from all this that did not serve me. Walk away from people that played with me, narcissistic, who were like back and forth, back and forth. Now you are embodying this own this energy of your own this is the fire energy right you are embodying this energy for yourself so that you can charge up in your life and you can move ahead and get into the new beginning by feeling like queen of pentacles very grounded very stable and very solid with your emotions no more confused no more doubts and dilemmas all right i believe like you have gone through something that where you felt like you know I have wasted enough time. I, you know, time is gone. I have no strength. Your third chakra was completely demolished, destroyed, where you were not able to figure things out, where you were not able to make certain choices and decisions. Hence, you, you were confused. All right, but I can tell you, you see, these two cards are here back to back, and interesting, you know. <clears throat> with this card uh, ten, three of swords you know right up on top of this three of swords i see these cards for you aries that uh, you know if you feel like uh, you have lost uh, the hope uh, you have lost the hope for union you have lost uh, that you will ever have any kind of relationship in your life or this connection is gone then i should tell you that you know good karmas return all right and i feel that good karmas are coming back to you with these cards all right and emotional stability it will come the right person the right emotional match compatible match will align in your path you will feel like a magician nobody is going nobody will be having the power to trick you all right and you will find that union and peace within yourself and that's how you will be able to manifest this connection uh, or this kind of emotion in the 3d world for yourself so this is beautiful for you aries i'm feeling like you may be dealing with uh, cancer scorpio pisces or gemini okay yeah cancer scorpio pisces scorpio energy is very strong aries energy all right gemini and uh, any water sign so this is what i feel for you um Aries that uh, union is coming all right union is coming with yourself union is coming uh, with the love interest of your life that means there is up in the horizon there is a soulful connection for you uh, and you will feel like wow I can do that means uh, once the third chakra gets activated you feel like a magician and you will be able to create all over again all right and once you come in that alignment somebody will be aligned in your path all right who will offer that ace of cup and you will be able to uh, feel victorious within yourself all right feel like wow i have finally made it through finally it's coming towards me so let's see what universe has for you all right 
Oh, wow! Look at this, Aries. I'm so happy. Universe had this secret, uh, you know, hidden from you. Wheel of Fortune with uh, Queen of Cups. You know, this is a match made in heaven and nobody can shiver this tie. Nobody can block your way. All right. And no BS can come in between this divine connection. No BS. Because this connection is written on star. All right. And with, yes. I mean, trust me, Scorpio. Uh, I say it's Scorpio. All right. You may be dealing with a Scorpio or you have Scorpio in your chart. I have been doing reading for a long, long time, but very rarely, very seldom I get this kind of energies where universe has this message for you that uh, two people made for each other. This match was made in heaven. If you have this worries about, about a relationship, about a connection that fell apart because of their, uh, you know, flirtatious nature, narcissistic nature, you thought like this person is gone from your life, they tricked you, they manipulated you, they manipulated your emotions, they brought uh, this devil kind of energy all right and they put you through any kind of confusions now what i believe is that aries it's all gone i mean the devil is gone from this connection all right with the third chakra you need you guys need to work on third chakra okay and this is what is coming for you aries uh you know the ace of cup with heroin a marriage made in heaven all right you got two major arcanas from the universe all right trinity has this message for you that my child this connection is made in heaven all right you don't have to worry you continue to close uh, pay continue to pay your karmic debts you know learn good lessons take out the good and say goodbye to the bad and continue to work on yourself take that leap of faith having that faith in the divine and union stability soulful connection and a magical kind of life is awaiting for you okay awaiting for you you have nothing to fear because this is no joke you know i'm telling you aries this is truly no joke okay you have to believe in uh, believe in yourself and you have anumanji with you and you got time you have nothing to worry okay you got time so let's see what uh, Archangel Michael has for you as an advice, okay? Let's take one advice card from Archangel Michael. <clears throat> I'm having a lot of activation in the throat chakra. Yeah, look at this. What universe has for you? Honor and trust your feelings. It says, thank you Archangel Michael for supporting, guiding and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. All right. Love is the uh, key to all. You know, love is the biggest commitment that you can have with yourself and with the divine. Once you have that uh, commitment, that kind of a honor, that kind of a honor to your own feelings, you are committed to your own emotions. You are committed to your own path. You are committed to your own emotions then there is this higher power who is watching over this connection all right and you have nothing to fear you see furthermore validations you uh, you both are you know you i said you both are so you both are okay whoever you love you both are going through this energy at this point in time that's how i'm feeling because these two person are uh, you know mirroring each other with these two cards all right you both have been undecisive you both have got this ten of swords you both were learning your lessons to take a leap of faith say goodbye to behaviors patterns uh, you know um, false emotions false belief system false relation karmic relation you know you both have depleted your uh, energy in a way that you were not in a situation to create something new for yourself and here universe comes to tell you that uh, my child you need to honor your own emotions you need to honor your feelings you need to honor your own um, thoughts all right and when you continue to do that that's when that's when something miraculous takes place and this is what universe 
heat from you right this is a marriage and this is a marriage i was about to say match but it came marriage this marriage is made in heaven all right and i'll tell you uh, aries i lost my dm but i feel i still feel like in soul like we both are connected okay i feel like uh, this is it i still feel okay father uh, whatever you wish for you have you know i i give up my life for you now all right and i i did meditation i conjure up all my strength so that at least you know for you all i can bring forth those love messages okay and i really bless you all those who are going through any kind of pain about uh, about relationship that has fell apart was um, you know i'm sorry my, my viewers i had this pain because i'm going through a lot lately but i bless you all that you know you get your love back that you don't you know at least you you i want you to give that hope that yeah somebody is coming returning not like me all right those who has transition right so believe in yourself believe in your emotions believe in your feelings you are going to get back uh, together because this is a connection made in heaven and will of fortune is there with hero fat all right it will take a turn uh, all the hard work that you have put in it will come true okay so let's see what our ganja angel spirit has to say what spirit has to say all right so let me see that and excuse me all right i'm i'm a bit emotional i'll take some time to overcome but uh, i cannot say no to my work right acceptance you see you you got to accept this message my friends you got to accept okay and the acceptance card says see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels and uh, with unconditional love and acceptance in this way you inspire and life every <clears throat> and lift everyone to their highest potential so this is a beautiful message you know the time has finally come that you need to accept and respect and honor your own emotions and feelings not uh you know not thinking about uh, what went wrong what uh, good could have done you know uh, what uh, i mean how to say this what better could have done all right some of you have this question like what better would have done uh, but i would like to tell you that believe in the divine's plan all right it may look very very turmoil for us troublesome for us but when it comes to divine uh, divine always has a better plan for us okay divine always has a better plan for us so accept accept what is going on don't run away from emotions that hurts you all right because that's the truth all right truth of the matter is at that point in time you're feeling like that so feel that pain all right feel that pain accept the situation yes yes father i am in pain yes father i am hurting yes father tell me what i can do all right once you do that that's when you know you attract the same kind of love frequency the vibration the universal vibration come towards you with a solid commitment which is you know taken care by the universe the will of this connection will be in the hands of the divine and divine will take care for you all right so let's see what krishna has for you uh, my dear aries divine blessings how beautiful is that this card indicates the unending flow of divine blessings and fulfillment of spiritual goals all right this uh, group of people that i'm connecting to at this point in time you all are going through you all are going through a very very spiritual uh, journey uh, it's like an awakening journey for you and through this time all you needed was the blessings the support of lord hanuman and he has been with you and trust me i can tell you from my own personal experience it's because of him i could come and do this readings to be honest otherwise i i was completely 
I was dead like this. <laughs> I was dead like this. I just wanted to exit, you know. I just wanted to exit. Like, Father, I have no hope left. All right. I had, I have no hope left. I, I live for this connection and it's gone. I accept it. I accepted it. All right. And after some time, I started to feel like, yeah, I'm here for a cause. I'm here for a purpose. I am the love and I am the light. I'll have to come do my work, justify my work, and then exit, right? Otherwise, what kind of an uh, what kind of message that I will give to my DM? He will say, okay, so I came and you came after me, all right? So that's what I'm trying to tell you. The festival create an energetic blueprint of a fantastic party or event. All right, so get ready, my dear beautiful viewers, that something beautiful is coming your way. You will get some kind of invitations. You have been long stuck like a hermit, closed off, was learning your lessons, trying to be decisive, trying to walk away, uh, you know, trying to walk through any kind of depleted energy that you, had, you were surrounded with. But now what I feel is that you know, everything has been lifted out. I mean, after this, there is nothing, right? What next you can expect after this? There is an ace of sword. Which What is ace of sword? Ace of sword is clarity, charging ahead, information's coming in for a better tomorrow for you. All right. Ace of swords, it's clarity, it's truth. All right. And I believe that this is what is taking place after a dark night of the soul journey. You are heading towards a beautiful, prosperous relationship like this that is made in heaven. A new beginning is awaiting you. And I'm really sorry for my voice today. You know, I am sending you all much love and blessings so that, you know, you, you, you get uh, what you truly want, all right? And everybody is looking for a soulful connection like this. Everybody is looking for a soulful union like this. Stability, security, a life like magic. Life, life looks like dream, right? Dream like life. Uh, and I am telling you, my viewers, dream like life is awaiting for you with this uh, energies uh, out here from the universe. A dream like life is awaiting for you. Okay, a dream like life, life is awaiting for you. And divine blessings are on its way. And this is what Krishna is telling you. Divine blessings is on its way. All you need to do is just accept the truth of the situation at this point in time. Don't try to run away. Don't try to, um, you know, uh, like curse or complain or like, you know, uh, lower your vibration. Don't try to lower your vibration. All right. And you will feel good. You will feel good within yourself. You will feel more powerful, more energized. And then you will see that how beautifully you have uh, manifested a connection like, like this, which is heaven made. All right. I hope this reading resonated with you, gave you some kind of an insight, heads up, some kind of healing to your soul. All right. To your heart, body, mind, soul. And I can tell you, all right, I can tell you, get ready for something marvelous. Get ready for something beautiful, beautiful alignment. Because see, this is really speaking out to me loud with the uh, Wheel of Fortune, with uh, Ace of Cup and Hierophant from the universe that, you know, these two people are made for each other. You both are made for each other, all right? So thank you so very much. I am sending across much love and light to you all. Om Namah Shivaya. Stay blessed and in peace. Bye-bye.